Hi, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. Uh, it is, uh, what day is it? Oh yeah, Friday. Friday the 27th of December. Has Christmas really gone that quickly? Um, we're on the uh, countdown now into uh, New Year and we've got the latest from the Japanese Met Agency and also some interesting stuff coming in now from the CFS uh, showing and hinting at the possibility of cooler weather building into the middle of January. Remember I've been telling you about this for some time now so uh, let's take a look and uh, see how things are shaping up. So it's stormy again through next week, but this downward trend in temperature look looks like it's going to continue. This is the chart from the uh, GFS Ensemble Valley for London, and uh, been hinting some time that we'd just see this cooler weather coming through. Now, it's not desperately cold, it's certainly not uh, depths of winter stuff, but it may just be leading up to that around this sort of date here, around about the 10th. And some signs just coming through for the very different models as well of this now. Now this is from the GEM um, for the 6th of January, right at the limit of um, the forecast uh, model, the GEM. And just interesting to see what it's doing. Low pressure here centres across Europe. Look, it brings in this uh, cold air easterly wind across the UK with the idea of a ridge building here in the Atlantic. Now this isn't supported by any other models. This is the ECMWF the same date. Look, still got us in this stormy westerly. This is the GFS Ensemble, and again, stormy westerly blown there, no signs of that low that was on the uh, GEM, apart from this little trough here, look, that it just try to hint at. The problem with the ensembles is that it can just smooth things out too much, so if we kind of get a pattern, you know, something like that, and another pattern, something like that, it takes the middle road, and uh, it can mean you just lose the detail in there. But often, the GEM is the first to pick up the idea of cooler weather, so... Um, I'm not going to completely discount that. I think something is being seen around the 10th uh, of January. And as you'll know, this is sort of the date that's been in my mind for a time. It, it could be several days either side of that. It's just that it looks like this cooler weather is, is there and it's started to show itself through the models. Now, the latest output from the Japanese Met Agency is available today. This is the chart uh, for the next week. So this is week one, taking us forward to the uh, 3rd of January. And uh, what it shows here, look, deep trough through the UK, strong jet stream. Uh, again, um, uh, strong winds and uh, depressions passing close to the UK, bringing further periods of rain. However, what's interesting is this, one, two, three... Uh, above normal height zone through here and this is something we look for again one of the clues of cooler weather starting to try and make its presence felt. Now on to week two this is taking us from the 4th of January through to the 10th of January and um, what this one is showing us is ridge building in the Atlantic look quite a deep trough here across uh, western parts of Europe high pressure building out here off towards Scandinavia, more of a colder south southeasterly flow here. But this deep draft through the UK again, hinting at the winds going more into the northwest, so still fairly unsettled, showerier conditions, but cooler conditions. And I think this is what we were seeing on the ensemble with that downward trend in temperature, you know, not going cold, but certainly that downward trend there with the uh, wintry showers across the hills of Scotland, northern England, Wales, and Ireland, perhaps even at lower levels at times across the north. Now week three becomes interesting as well. This is three and four. So this is going forward from the 11th of January and then takes us up to the uh, around the 25th of January. And look, this shows us a ridge out here, deep drop through western parts of Europe, high pressure out here, and still staying fairly unsettled through the UK. But hints here, look, of a more northerly flow developing across the British Isles. So... This is taking us into this colder period in the middle part of the month. And I, I, I think we have to stick with this idea that we could increasingly find it becoming cold. There could be snow showers coming south. Um, difficult to put the detail on there, but I think this downward trend in temperature through January is definitely there. And this middle part of the month could be looking at daytime temperatures perhaps of 2s and 3s in the south, perhaps nearer 1s and 2s further north. And as I say, the risk of sleet and snow all the way down through the country, I think. Now, what's interesting is to look at the MJO. This is the forecast from the CFS. And what to notice here is that, that these coloured lines coming through here. And notice how they take us through phase 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then what I want you to do is to look at what these various phases are. Because it puts us into phase 6 around the beginning of January. 
and this is how phase 6 looks. It builds high pressure, higher than normal heights across uh, central parts of Russia, lower than normal heights through Scandinavia, builds a ridge out in the Atlantic so we're getting that pattern like that. Remember that from the uh, Japanese? So what it tends to do is bring in more of a colder northwesterly flow through the UK. And then we put into phase 7 here, look, around about the 10th of January. And here's how phase 7 looks. Higher than normal heights out to the west and towards the east, lower than normal heights down through Europe, and what we tend to find is a ridge like that, trough, ridge, and a cold northerly or northeasterly flow through the country, bringing a taste of winter. Most of the snow towards the north and the east, or rather sleet and snow towards the north and the east and other precipitation, dry towards the west, but certainly colder. And it's doing that from the 10th onwards. Then, the MJO from around the uh, 18th onwards here brings us into phase 8. And here's how phase 8 looks in January. What it does is build the heights through the UK, we get low the normal heights in the Atlantic and towards the east. So what we tend to find is a trough here, a ridge that builds through here, and then a trough through here again. So what we tend to find is that we stay cold, we stay with an east to south easterly flow, most places become dry, but we start to try and become attacked by Atlantic weather systems coming in from the south and the west, which can bring more prolonged periods of rain, sleet, and also snow. So this is the position from around the 18th or 19th onwards. And what all this is doing is building up my idea that we will see a cold spell lasting somewhere from the 10th through to around the 25th of January. Now it's probably, or I'm saying it probably is, it probably will be a taste of winter proper. So we will see some snow, we will see ice and frost. But please don't take this as gospel. This is not a definite forecast. This is just guidance that's coming in from the models at the moment. But it is hinting that we'll see this cold snap perhaps lasting for a couple of weeks during the middle part of January. Of course, it all could be blown away. We're relying on so many different factors going on around the globe that things can change. But at the moment, this is the way things are looking. So we'll keep you updated right the way through on how these things develop. Um, but for now, whatever you're doing, have a great evening, have a great day, and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.